Paris has just become the latest city to open a sex robot brothel. There they are. There are the <laughs> robots. <laughs> now, this is the question. Oh, this is a good question. If your partner went and visited a sex robot in a brothel, would you consider that he or she had cheated on you? Absolutely. Oh, Denise's yeah, right in there. Yeah? You'd consider you? that cheating? They're having well, sex with an inanimate object. It doesn't... But the thing is, it doesn't matter. I'd like to think that... I would be with my partner and that would be me. I don't want him to go off and then do it with a robot. OK. <laughs> do you know what I so, mean? Um, it's a, it's something partner, between two people. When your partner masturbates or you masturbate, do you feel you've got to have a, <laughs> Can a, I just a say, hotline? Jenny, we've got a very healthy sex life. We don't have to. All right. <laughs> Hypothetically... I know what you're getting at, though. Now, you <laughs> on my side in this. Do you feel you've got the right to know what's going on in their mind? And as for a plastic dummy, if they want to get their rocks off with a plastic dummy, <laughs> frankly, it's, it's fine it's by me because it, surely it's cleaner and uh, <laughs> there's going to be less sexually transmitted Apparently diseases. it's cheaper as well. I get what you're... Like, yeah. <laughs> I'm just giving you facts here. You don't have to take it out for dinner. No, I'm giving you the facts. Yes, what are about the facts? This. It's about, seven, it's about 70 Because this is Euros, but it's about £78 an hour <laughs> and apparently, we've been looking and researching and phoning around today, it's about £100 an hour going rate with a non-robot with a sex worker. So, actually, effectively, they could be putting sex workers out of business, couldn't I, they? I, I, for the real ones. Yeah, and that would be a good thing if we could find jobs for the sex workers, but there again, we probably wouldn't. But I, I get they where... Clean I get the robot. Where, I, get, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I get where Janet's coming from, because, you know, you can't, you can't delve into what your partner is thinking when they masturbate. Is it not just that? But I, I don't think it's just that. I think it is, an, it is a, 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 a huge step away from that. And if if, if I found out Mark was visiting that sort of a brothel, it would really change the way that I thought about him. I would just... It would make me feel queasy about him. I don't think same. I could ever look at him in the same way as again. I think it's taken the emotion out, even out if of it, it was... It's animalistic. It's yeah. just... Blah, blah, blah. There's, like, no emotion, there's nothing... You're not getting anything back. Well, it's at least like, oh, that's what they want. That's the reason they've gone there in the first place. They want to have sex with something that doesn't answer well, back, I doesn't come back, back. <laughs> about their thoughts. In a mood, you get nothing back. <laughs> but they said now there was a, a documentary recently about yes. sex robots yes. that they can start programming them to yes, have they responses. Are combining them with AI, artificial intelligence in Silicon Valley. So they've got the sex bot, the, the sex robot dolls, but they are teaching them to speak and. But on the programme, which was on Channel 4, I thought the speech was really, really funny because it was just really nice. Like, oh, wow, you're great. Well, of, you're course like, yeah. gonna, <laughs> of course they're going to... Of course they're going to programme them to bolster yeah. their ego. But I, I saw that... I don't know if any of you have seen it, that drama, Westworld, where yes. they use AI prostitutes and... Oh, my God, by the end of it, I was weeping for these robots because they had started to put in all of that extra stuff into their software where they could but feel, real, where they could Nadia. think, where they could respond. Why are you feeling but Nadia? we they're can not get real. there. We could get there. We could get there. Yeah, but the robots don't have robots because they're, they're not no, real. No, but down the line, in 100 years, we could have sex robots that have feelings. It scares the banoonies out of me. Imagine. <laughs> well, we asked you, we asked all of you, if your partner visited a sex robot brothel, would you consider it cheap? A massive 89% said yes, Janet. Wow! 89% <laughs> says yes. Um, well, Adele says, I wouldn't class it as cheating, actually, but I wouldn't be happy. Why go there when you have a partner? Are they not enough for you? <laughs> really but not. But Janet's point, what about self-thingy? We won't say the word too many more times. The M word. Is that also... Is that, is that infidelity if somebody M's? <laughs> <laughs> this subject, the owner of one of these brothels in Germany said, oh, we provide a service and quite often the husband uh, gets driven near by the wife and she waits in the car outside. Yeah, well, there's a lot of women that don't want to have sex This is what husband. Emily and Pankhurst and the suffragettes fought for, that we could sit and have a conversation like this today. Yay! There you go. <laughs> there you go.